Shuddham number one. We have Tn terms, which is tan inverse one upon x square two n plus one x upon something. We need not care about that, okay? No T enter. Let it be. If we could see, can we find this as 10 inverse x plus 1 minus x upon 1 plus x x plus 1? Can we find the next term to be 10 inverse x plus 3 x plus 2 into x plus 1 x plus 2 into x plus 1 minus x plus 1 upon 1 plus x plus 2 into x plus 1 can we see this similarly can we see the next term written to be 10 inverse x plus 3 minus x plus 2 upon 1 minus x plus 3, x plus 2. So similarly, this will keep on going. Can we write this as 10 inverse x plus 1 minus 10 inverse x? Similarly, the second term will be what? 10 inverse x plus 2 minus 10 inverse x plus 1. This will go up to n term. So at 1 it is 1, at 2 it is 2, at n it will be what? 10 inverse x plus n. At n it will be 10 inverse x plus n minus 1. If you see that, This first term, second term, this term, this term. If first term is la last term is left, here this term will be left. Okay. So overall, we can see that this is 10 inverse x plus n minus 10 inverse x. So this is the required answer. Move to next question. Question number two. Ten inverse one by three, ten inverse two by n. So this is what? It could be written as something like this. Ten inverse two to the power 0 upon 1 plus 2 to the power 1 into 2 to the power 0. Similarly moving ahead, 10 inverse 2 to the power 1 upon 1 plus 2 to the power 2 minus 2 to the power 1. Similarly ongoing, it can be written as 10 inverse 2 to the power n minus 1 upon 1 plus 2 to the power n, 2 to the power n minus 1. Can we write this as 10 inverse 2 to the power 1 minus 2 to the power 0 upon 1 plus 2 to the power 1 to the power 0 plus 
टेन इनवर्स टू स्क्वायर माइनस टू वन अपॉन वन प्लस टू स्क्वायर टू वन प्लस टेन इनवर्स टू टू दी पॉवर एन माइनस टू टू पॉवर एन माइनस वन अपॉन वन प्लस टू टू पॉवर एन टू टू दी पॉवर एन माइनस वन द डिफरेंस इज व्हाट कैन वी राइट दिस एस टेन इनवर्स टू माइनस टेन इनवर्स वन टेन इनवर्स टू स्क्वायर माइनस टेन इनवर्स टू कीप गोइंग Up to infinite, okay. So we'll be having somewhere here ten inverse two to the power n minus ten inverse two to the power n minus one. If you see this, first term, second term are cutting. So only this term, last and the Previous term will be left. So this is what ten inverse two to the power n minus ten inverse one. This is what when n tending to infinity, it is infinity, which is pi by two minus pi by four is pi by four is the answer. So this is the solution for this one. This is the solution for this one. Okay, and we are proceeding with question three. Should we solve question three in this only? Okay, let's solve question three. If you observe it, it is what sine inverse. One by root n into root n n plus one minus if we do it, okay, sine inverse n minus one by n. N one upon n plus one. This is sine a cos b cos a sine b. So this is what sine inverse one by root n minus sine inverse root n n plus one. This is what it is. Now if we start solving, it is. We will start solving from n equals to one. It will be sine inverse one minus sine inverse one by root two. Sine inverse on two one by root two minus sine inverse. Root two by three, so we will find that similarly it will go up to sine inverse one by root n minus sine inverse root n by n plus one. So what are getting cancelled? This is getting cancelled. Only this term and this term is left. So when n is tending to infinity. n is 1 it is what pi by 2 and when n is tending to infinity it is again 1 i think so n was it is again pi by 2 i think n tending to infinity is sin inverse 1 so it it should come out to be 0 It is coming out to be zero. My suggestion to you all is that 
it is coming out to be zero. Then it is uh, the answer is zero. This is the solution. Check check the calculation for once, okay?